Hello Guardians, welcome back to another Destiny 2 video, finally, I've decided to actually record another one. For today's topic, I thought I'd actually talk about Guardian games today, rather than making a little, uh, well, propaganda short like I usually do, where I usually do that for each character. I'm kind of lazing on that right now, I'm not going to lie, but uh, yeah, maybe when I stop like playing Destiny 2 right now, then I'll actually work on those. But I thought I'd take this brief moment... To talk about Guardian games and like whatever comes to my mind, I'll obviously try and spill it here. Uh, well, I, w I will admit there's like one main reason I'm recording this. Yes, because I can speak. And it's the whole Laurel drop thing and Laurel like um, cap. So, as you may know, uh, you only get to hold 500 Laurels and obviously one like platinum metal and so on and so forth, you know, you see it all in that, like, uh, item, I can't remember the name of it. But why is it in Gambit that laurels can just, like, go straight to your inventory, but in other activities they just drop on the ground? Am I the only one that sees an issue with that? Like, am I the weird one here? Because I swear, like, if they could do it for one activity, just do it for all the activities, like... Now, unless, like, let's just say, for example, the competitive playlist wanted to do that, then, you know, that makes sense, because, you know, you're making sure you're collecting the laurels, and maybe that would give you a few bonus points or whatever, but... I don't know, just... That, that's the main reason, anyway, that I made... or decided to actually, like, come here and speak about this. Uh, another reason, obviously, is the laurel cap, which is kind of weird when I think about it, but honestly... I don't know. As long as you keep spending the laurels on cards, it doesn't matter. And if you don't really care about the currency, then, yeah, you could just kind of move on with your life as if nothing happened. But I, I don't know. It's just, it kind of weirds me out how there's a cap on it, but it is how it is. Other than that, though, I've basically just been, like, just farming uh, for medals and stuff. Just because I still haven't reached Pinnacle yet, and also because I haven't done certain challenges yet. That's literally my main excuse for playing right now. Like, I really wish that during the Witch Queen campaign, I only leveled up as much as I needed to. And then just stopped there. Because I know now, in the future, like, I'm gonna basically just grind, like, Guardian games out to do challenges and whatnot. And, yeah, honestly, I kinda might do that for next event, but I don't think, uh, I think it's Solstice next. I don't think you can, like, grind in the same way in Solstice unless you're just grinding that activity, because I can't remember what Solstice entailed, I'm not gonna lie. Oh wait, never mind, I do. It's the armor pieces, Joe, so... Actually, yeah, no, I might actually legit just not bother go for Pinnacle next season until the Solstice event rolls around, assuming that is the next event and they haven't just replaced it with something else. But yeah, no, that's weird to also think about that. Like, this Solstice, there won't be, like, a moment of triumph. Like, that moment of triumph is definitely going to be, like, during the dawning, I'd say. Because, like, if they're going to release uh, Lightfall next year, then obviously they're going to release it around February time. Or maybe if they delay it, then it'll probably be, like, basically nearly next summer at this rate, you know? Which is kind of weird to think about. Other than that, though... The mechanics in Guardian games kind of just confuses me, so I just stick with, like, buying a card, getting the Platinum Medals and all the other medals and just dunking them because I just can't be bothered with anything else. Like, even with the Triumphs, I just don't really care. As I said, like, I'm basically just playing Guardian games just to get my, like, level up a bit. Honestly, if, like, any season or, like, the next big expansion just suddenly, like, removes power, then I've, like basically no reason in the future to actually play the event unless I actually want to grind for the SMG. Which I will admit I should be, but like, I just don't care. Because I know it's going to come around next year anyway if I want it again. And probably another like legendary weapon will be in the pool with it, so... Yeah. I don't know. Like, <laughs> with each event and each moment in Destiny I'm losing the reason to play, but... Well, I say that, but, like, the main reason I still play Destiny is basically for the story at this point. I just play, like, the seasonal quest line just to know, like, hey, what's happening with this universe and where is it going next, you know? And obviously I like listening to lore videos and whatnot, so, yeah. Anyway, Guardians, that'll be all for this quick Destiny video. If you liked it, obviously like it. Uh, comment on what you think about Guardian games so far and what else I could talk about or what even videos I could make on Guardian games. Because I know I didn't even bother mentioning too much about the competitive and casual playlists, whatever they're called. Because I only really did them for the pinnacles, if I'm being real, and for the cards, so, yeah. 
Anyway, thanks again so much for listening, and I'll see you in the next video.